The best way to get proficient and quick and word fast or any cat tool is to keep your hands on the keyboard as much as possible. That means learning the keyboard shortcuts. You can find the full lists under these three menus. Translation, memory, uh, terminology and edit and this small drop down list for, uh, pertaining to tags. Uh, you don't actually have to memorize by heart all these uh, all these shortcuts, only the basic ones. Uh, they are essentially the next segment, which is Alt Down, and uh, it's previous uh, the the previous segment, which is Alt Up. Uh, translate until fuzzy, and um, uh, yeah, translate all and uh, commit all segments to TM. I'll be explaining what these terms commit and fuzzy mean in, in the next pages inshallah. And of course the TM lockup shortcut, uh, edit and uh, yeah, this one also copy source which is alt insert and tags, the previous tag and next tag shortcuts and the copy tag shortcut. Uh, you don't have to memorize those. So let me show you one of these shortcuts. So perhaps you uh, suppose that you're translating this segment. Um, yeah. So and you wanna move from this segment to the next one or to the previous one. And the, the shortcut for this is from the translation memory menu, which is the next segment or previous segment. Alt up, alt down. Yeah and this one which is copy source yeah alt insert i advise you to save the file uh, work your work on file every couple of minutes so you don't lose your work in case of a system crash or a power outage you see that uh, yeah th that sign with a special format it's called a tag and you should place them as is in the target segment and in the same order if there are many in the same uh, in the same segment like um, uh, 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 we don't have a segment that has many tags okay we have to modify the source text in order to get more more ones Yeah, for example, yeah, let's make it bold. And yeah. And then control control and control S or save from the menu. These tags uh they preserve the format and place holders of the source text. So uh, the segment which we've been talking about yeah, uh, should now has uh, should now have many uh, many tags because we have uh, added three three uh, formats in the source file. Yeah. So if if uh, if a if a segment like this has many many tags, that means that the segment is is infested with uh, with formats. In this case, I advise you to copy uh, the source with Alt Insert uh, keyboard shortcut, so you don't have to to place each and every tag if, uh, individually. If you're curious about the exact content of the tags, hover over any. And the tool tab will pop up showing the content within. So, for example, this one, if you remember, we added a bold effect to the word managers in our source uh, Microsoft Word file. So, uh, this slash b means actually, if you if you know some HTML encoding codes, uh, this means uh, that this text is bold. Uh, yeah. For example, also this one means that the the, the font used. For this word is Times New Roman and its size is 12 and it is not a hidden, a hidden uh, text. You don't actually have to know the content of text, but if you're curious, you know, uh, you know uh, how to do it.
and it is worth noting that it is common in English to allocate a tag for the ampersand sign. This one is called an ampersand sign. Yes. Um, in Arabic or perhaps some other languages, you can drop that tag since it's unnecessary. You see this bane on the right side. It's the outline of your file. You can select from here which categories of the file you want to view. This comes in handy if your file is a lengthy one or if your project is a bulky one. Uh, show all uh, if you want to view only the 100% or the fuzzy or no match or empty target. I will be explaining what these terms mean in the next videos inshallah.